Hey guys, today we're going to be doing animal classification yoga. And for this, you can go ahead and watch this YouTube video that I've linked right here. And this will take you on YouTube to the animal song. And this is a great way to review for the different classifications of animals. But you can watch that on your own time. I will link it in the daily lesson plan. So the first animal we're going to talk about are mammals. Mammals breathe air with their lungs. They are warm-blooded. They give birth to live babies. They have fur or hair, and they have a backbone also called a vertebrae. Some examples of mammals are tigers, giant pandas, and bunnies. And the movement that you are going to do, the yoga movement, is the cat pose. And you can see how this girl right here looks like a cat when she is doing that stretch. And a cat is an example of a mammal. Um, and, of course, you are also an example of a mammal. Next up, we have birds. You're going to know it's a bird because they have feathers and wings. They have hollow bones to help them fly. And this means that if you look at a toilet paper tube, you know how you can see through it. It's got the shell of the brown around it, but then you can see through it. That's kind of like a hollow bone, whereas our bones are solid. So that's what helps them get off the ground and fly. They have a backbone or a vertebrae. They lay eggs and they have beaks. Some examples of birds are a bluebird, a toucan, and a penguin. And for the bird movement, you are of course going to do the yoga bird pose. And it looks just like that on your tiptoes with your arms extended out like wings. The next movement you are going to be doing is the reptile movement. Reptiles are cold-blooded. This means that their body temperature changes with the environment around them. So warm-blooded, your body temperature is always the same. Whereas if you are cold-blooded, it changes with the temperature. So if it's really hot outside, your blood's going to be warm. If it's really cold outside, your blood's going to be cold. We're warm-blooded, so our temperature doesn't really change. Some example, or excuse me, they lay eggs, they have scales, they breathe air with their lungs, and they have a backbone or vertebrae. Some examples of reptiles are snakes, bearded dragons, turtles, crocodiles, alligators, all of those are reptiles. You're going to be doing the snake pose for yoga today if you see a reptile. And basically, you're going to lay down on your tummy and stretch your head up just kind of like a cobra, which I can't talk today. A cobra would strike their head up. The next animal we're going to talk about is an insect. Insects have an exoskeleton, not a vertebrae or backbone. These are bones on the outside, which is why they have that hard shell on the outside of them. They have three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They have antenna, which are those little things sticking out of their heads, and then they have six legs. Some examples of insects are butterflies, ladybugs, and dragonflies. Next up, almost forgot the movement. And for insect, you're going to be doing the butterfly pose. So you're going to sit down and put your the bottoms of your feet together and flap your knees like a butterfly. Amphibians. Amphibians are cold-blooded. Again, their temperature changes with the environment outside. They begin their life in the water and they develop lungs to live on land. So this is a great example of frogs. They start as tadpoles in the water and then they grow into frogs. Uh, they live in the water and on the land and they have a moist scaleless skin. So don't confuse them with reptiles. It can be a little tricky. So what we are going to do for the amphibian movement is the frog pose because an amphibian is an example. I mean, a frog is an example of an amphibian. And you're just going to essentially look like a frog just like this little girl is right here. Examples of amphibians, there are four types of amphibians. You have frogs, toads, salamanders, and cecilians. That's it. That's all we got for amphibians. And finally, the last classification of animals are fish. Fish are cold. Whoops. Fish are cold-blooded. They have gills. They do not have lungs that help them breathe underwater. They have fins that help them swim, and they lay eggs. And some examples of some fish are a beta fish, which you might see in a bowl at your house, a seahorse, and of course, our class favorite, a shark. And you're going to be doing, of course, for the fish movement, the fish pose. And this is going to be where you're going to sit on your bottom, crisscross applesauce, and lean your head all the way back like a fish. All right, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 